Here's another example of sketching cubic where it's written as three linear terms. We've got 3x minus 1, 2 plus x, and x minus 10. So first of all, find out where the cubic must be crossing the x-axis. It must be crossing the x-axis when 3x minus 1 is 0. So 3x minus 1 is 0 means that 3x must be 1. So x would have to be 1 third. So x equals 1 third is a possible solution. So that's where it crosses the x-axis. It could also cross the x-axis when this bracket is 0. So when x is minus 2. And it will also cross the x-axis when this bracket is 0. So that's when x is 10. So what we have is it crossing at minus 2. We've got 1 third. And we've also got 10. If I multiplied out the three brackets, I would get 3x times x times x. So that's 3x cubed. So the number in front of the x cubed is positive. So we're starting from the bottom left. We would be moving through the minus 2. Moving through the 1 third. Down. And then through the 10. So the only thing I need to do now is figure out where is it crossing the y-axis. I can do that by multiplying the three constant terms together inside the three brackets. Minus 1 times 2 times minus 10. So that would be 20. And that's it. That's me sketching the uh, cubic equation in this case. Okay? We're next going to look at one where we've got a negative x in the term and just to see what happens there.